Well, uh, uh, good afternoon. It's uh, Jeff and Wilma here at Budroom, and this afternoon I'm going to show you how, uh, how to get the most out of a fish, how to get it in the most premium condition so that when you uh, cook it up it'll taste the absolute best. So, uh, and, and this starts right from the time you get the fish in the boat. So the first thing you want to do is uh, cut its throat. You can just put the knife in there and, until the blood rushes out. Uh, you, have, you haven't got to cut all the way through, you just put the knife in there and also you can brain spike the fish. So you've got a spot uh, there in between these bones, you put the spike in there and just wriggle it around and, just, and you can feel the fish die because the eyes roll around and then uh, once you pick the fish up it's completely limp. Put it straight into a thick icy slurry, so that's and preferably sea water with some uh, sea water with some uh, good and uh, thick ice in it and you immerse the fish in that and then the fish will quickly get its rigor mortis and then uh, and then it'll the, fit, the uh, f flesh will firm up beautifully and then you'll have a beautiful fish to eat. Uh, this is a fish that we got on our last fishing trip and uh, our grandson Mickey came out with us, he's 12 years old and uh, right first thing I'm going to do gut and gill the fish is uh, put the knife in the vent, uh, bring it back towards the uh, there, and just cut, cut through there and then turn the fish over and you're going to open up there, just cut across and separate the wings from the gills and then we're going to get in there and Cut across the backbone there. You can get in there. No. Right. And then you separate the gills and you just pull that whole lot out. And just with a knife just loosen up all that blood because we're going to use every part of this fish. So if you've got a, a banquet on or something like that, you might want to um, cook this fish whole in the oven so, uh, so you're going to pull all the gills out and clean it up beautifully so uh, pull all that out so, now the next thing I'm going to do is completely scale the fish so, uh, so we'll, uh, we'll come back when we sort of uh, right, so that's the very last scale now off the fish um, it's important to get all the scars off the head because if you're going to bake this fish whole in the oven uh, the best part of the fish is around the head and you don't want to pick off that uh, flesh off that meat and uh, have all the scales attached to it so this is about fresh water and marine fish some people say you shouldn't let uh, marine fish touch fresh water but what you could do what uh, people could do if they really wanted to uh, go to extremes is bring home a couple of litres of uh, seawater where they caught the fish and then uh, do a final rinse uh, when they at, at the end you know rinse the fish wash them in fresh water and give them a final rinse in the mm -hmm. seawater okay. before you freeze them so uh, the idea now is to knock the fillets off right now my knife's a bit sharper so I'll take my cut around there I'm just going to uh, Half along the uh, backbone, along here, and uh, if you're looking for a video to see somebody cut a fillet of fish really quick, uh, you better not, you better not watch this one because I'm not into speed filleting. So you're just going to follow around these bones here and sort of carve around the backbones. No, sorry, I want it. Yeah. Carve around that backbone there. Like that, and then you just cut around there. And I'm just going to cut these 
rib pads. And that's that bit. So I'm going to do the same with the other fillet. So, so now this is the last of the second fillet. Uh, that's the second one off. So uh, now what I'm going to do with this head is I'm going to use the head for uh, fish head curry or tom yum soup. I'm use that for fish dock in the uh, tom yum soup that we uh, cooked the head in really. There's a lot of good a lot of goodness in the fish brain mm. in amongst the in the in between the bones. I'm just going to uh, get some nice boneless pieces so I'm going to you know, I don't want them too thick so I'm going to cut back on a bit of an angle that, like that through the skin. The other thing about uh, the fish, a lot of people skin their fish, but there's a lot of goodness in the uh, skin. A lot of uh, omega-3 oil. And, oh, the uh, skin's lovely when it's cooked. Stuff. Yeah. Very yeah. tasty. Right, so there's, now that's the second piece going to come off. Now, the last pin bone is just there. I'm going to get another piece that's boneless. Same thing goes there, cut back towards the, the tail. And there's a bone there. Avoid that. So basically, this uh, this method applies to all all fish, really. You know, you can probably use this for this method for filleting a red snapper or even a porgy, couldn't you? <laughs> yes. Well, well, this might be a porgy. Ah, could be. <laughs> could be a porgy. Yeah. With 125 species. So. I just want to thank that American bloke who pointed, pointed it out to me. Right, now. Now that's, we've got that piece there, so I'm just going to get that into about three Is pieces. Is that boneless? That's that, yeah, that's a boneless piece there. So I've kept all the bones in that section, in that wing section. So I'm going to cut this piece into, into three. So the same thing goes there, I'm going to cut it back on a bit of an acute angle and uh, have the fill, fill it not you know nice and thin and uh, the fin off the wing there that bit there and they've got a nice big chunk of uh, wing and rib cage and all that sort of thing here so I'm going to cut it into two big pieces I could cut cut into three really so I'm going to cut it into three so this is the best part of the fish without a doubt and this is my favorite part of the fish the wings. Oh, that's mine too. Yeah. I had a long chat with a food scientist uh, a few years ago uh, about fish and he was telling me that most of your omega-3 oil is around the head and the wing and the stomach flap area. So uh, that was a, I was really pleased that the bloke had the time to talk to me about it. Okay, so we're just doing a final presentation here. Um, I noticed I had a big mountain of fish here out of a 2.7 kilo fish so what I did was I, I weighed all the fillets and there was 1.6 kilos, 1.62 I did a, a quick calculation and I got 60% recovery which is pretty good yeah. so there's the fish frame and the fish head for, for stock and for uh, tom yum soup uh, there's nothing wasted. I think, you know, where I sell my fish to, he's talking like 30% recovery on fish by the time they skin them and debone them and all that sort of thing, you know. So uh, I reckon, you know, by keeping the wings on and the stomach and all that, stomach flaps, and getting 60% recovery, as well as keep the head and the frames, the fish dock, you, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> anyway. Alright, anyway, we'll catch you later. All the best now. Bye.